How much did you spend to put dinner on the table last night? I'm sure it was a lot more than you did a couple of years ago. While family budgets continue to get stretched by food prices, corporate profits and the pay for their leadership continue to soar. WRAL investigates Sarah Kruger examines the trends and why there might be a light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, I eat a lot and it's it's rough. Families are still getting indigestion from their grocery bills. A bag of potato chips used to be like two, three bucks and now it's like four or five dollars. Simple staples of the past, now a drain on the bank account. Do you dread seeing your bill every time? Yeah, I try not to look at it. Compared to pre-pandemic, ground beef is up 35%, chips up 45%, bread 57%, and 12-ounce cans of soda up 66%, all well above the inflation rate. They're in the business of making money. Gerald Cohen is the chief economist at UNC's Keenan Flagler School of Business. He says data does show companies are making more. So that kind of share that we We've seen around 17 and a half percent of of output goes to pro corporate profits is is higher than the average of the last you know 50 plus years. Cohen won't call it greed, saying there are outside forces that impact prices like the bird flu or supply chain disruptions caused by things like the Baltimore Bridge collapse. The issue is whether the size of recent price hikes is necessary. And now there's this question of, you know, are they overdoing it? Many consumers call it greedflation, and they point to gold lined pockets of company CEOs. Food supplier ConAgra's boss made 18.7 million last year, a 58% raise from the year before. Kraft Heinz's CEO made more than 11 million, a 61% raise, and the head of General Mills got a 19% bump, making almost 14 million. Cohen understands the perception of families who are paying more at the checkout. It's not surprising that people are linking those things. But instead of only pointing fingers, he says you can make a difference. Households have, can have a big impact on the price of goods and services. If that brand name product is getting too pricey, go generic. If the price of something goes up too much and people stop buying it, then the, then the price of that is going to have to come down. And with many Americans getting raises that are finally catching up to recent inflation, Cohen says changing your buying habits is likely the only chance to lower food prices. The chances of food prices getting back to pre-pandemic levels are very low. And I might even strengthen it and say near zero. And with the recent news of an unexpected jump in inflation, many shoppers will have to adjust. Any things in particular you've like cut back on because of the bill? Uh, it's like steak. I don't, I don't ever eat steak anymore. Sometimes like, I have to cut back on certain proteins, uh, just get things that are a little bit on the cheaper side. Sarah Kruger, WRAL News.